Hey there, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am really excited because we are doing another Stony Clover unboxing video. I have the box right here. This ginormous box. We're gonna open it together and I've actually been sitting on this box for probably a week because I've had just last week was crazy and did not have a chance to unbox it. But this is how dedicated to you guys I am. I waited <laughs> to open this box until I could do it with all of you. This is kind of cute <laughs> because it says, with love from West Village. They have a sticker on the front, which is very adorable. So I have not even taken a peek at this. Okay, <laughs> so I finally have that un undone. So just a little refresher, if you are new to this channel or if you maybe didn't watch all my videos, I was in the West Village Stony Clover store a couple of weeks ago. I was on a, a weekend trip with my mom. I did vlog that trip. I will link it above if you haven't seen it. It was such a fun weekend just doing mother, daughter, girls things. But part of that trip, we went to the Stony Clover store and I brought in a bunch of things that I have just been sitting on getting patched. So then I also picked up some things in store because I was there. So they weren't able to patch everything in the timing that we needed it to be done. They did mail everything to me. It took a little bit of time to get to me. I think it took maybe almost two weeks, but let's actually open up the box in the standard Stony Clover beautiful packaging, which I love. So just kind of the <laughs> pulling out the, the cellophane. So I think what we'll do I'm trying to decide if I wanna do new stuff or the stuff that I brought in to be patched, but let's let's do the stuff that I brought in to be patched first. And I'm not gonna talk through these like in super detail because I'm thinking of doing a Stony Clover collection video. Let me know if you are interested in that. So just so this video is not an hour long, I'm just gonna kind of show you the things that I got and we can talk about it a little bit in more detail in a collection video if you want me to do that. Let's start with the things that I brought in and we're gonna start with my favorite of all of them, which is this. Cindy is my favorite Disney princess and this small pouch is adorable to me. I love this. So I had bought this patch separately and just never <laughs> got it patched because I don't know how to sew this myself and I didn't want to bring it to someone else because Stony Clover does such a great job of patching them. So I brought this in. This looks perfect to me. Love this. Can't wait to use this for all of my cords and things, but really, really happy with how, with how that turned out. Next Disney princess thing that is very similar to the last thing I showed you, but it is this. It is the Aurora small pouch and I had them put the little crown that I got separately on the bottom. I wasn't sure if I should put it in the middle or if I should put it on the side. I actually feel like this is not even, which I hope will not make me crazy. Do you see that? It's like kind of on an angle. Yikes, I think it's fine, it's fine. My OCD is kicking in, but it's totally fine. Happy with that. Other than the fact that the crown looks a little askew. Okay, oh, I love this. This turned out really well. So this is a mini pouch. I use this little mini pouch in my work tote. I have a couple Neverfulls that I just sort of rotate around. It's like the perfect neutral little pouch and it goes with everything. And I always put all of my lip gloss, hand sanitizer, all the little things that you just don't want floating around in your bag. I thought it was kind of fun doing it on the kind of side and putting the heart on kind of a little angle here. And I never actually showed these. This is cute. They have some like digging. I feel like <laughs> I feel like Mary Poppins like trying to like dig in the bottom of this <laughs> of this bag to see what is in here. The little Stony Clover West Village New York New York little postcard which is adorable and SCL in the village little sticker. I don't really do anything with these but they're kind of a cute little touch and I love that Stony Clover always does them. So appreciate that they sent them to me as part of this, you know, little, actually this is not little, this is a lot of things. Another thing that this is sort of like a hybrid new item and stuff that I brought in. And I had got these 
uh, little patches that say stuff. And I think these were actually from the Target collection. I got these because, long story short, and I will make this short, I had bought a patch from somebody on Mercari that is in here um, that I will show you. And they sent me the wrong patch. They sent me the right patch and to, you know, say sorry for the mix up, they sent me these patches for free, which I never bought anything from the Target collab, but you know, whatever, they were cute little patches. So I wanted something to put them on. Wasn't sure what color of the core colors I wanted to do. This is banana. This is like, you know, not Target collection. This is the real Stony Clover core collection banana. So this is actually one of my favorite things that I picked up with these little patches that I already had. It's gonna be so fun for travel and like little things in the summer. That's really cute. So the next thing, this is something that I brought in. Oh, I love how this turned out. So this is the patch that I was just telling you about that she mixed up, the one on Mercari. I wasn't sure when I was in the store and I actually had pulled you guys when I had um, talked about what I was thinking of getting patched in a previous video, which I'll link above. I wasn't sure which color of the clear travel pouch I wanted to get because there's a bunch of different, you know, colors within here. There's a light pink, there's sort of a, uh, like a lilac color, sort of a mint color as well. But when I was actually in the store, I thought this color, which is Oh God, I don't know what this is called. Is this called bubble gum? I don't know, it's their light pink. No, flamingo, I think it's called flamingo. Really happy with how that came out. And that would be great for, you know, any sort of skincare, different things that you wanna just throw in your, in your bag when you're traveling, or you don't wanna leak, you know, all over your things. So this plastic is just perfect because then you can just sort of wipe it up. So this is cute. I don't have any of their travel pouches and now I do and I love it. It turned out really well. Another large pouch, got it to say vlogs because now that I am, you know, I hate creating content on YouTube, but there is just so much stuff that you accumulate batteries and tripods and just all of the things that you never really thought went into what creating a video on YouTube really does require. And I wanted something to just put all of those little things in. I like the monochrome other than the <laughs> than the stuff one that I got. I really do like kind of more of like an understated color on color. So I think this is gonna be perfect for all of my vlogging things. And then every time I look at it, I will be inspired to create more videos for you guys. So love this. This turned out super well. Okay, so I ended up getting, which I love, and I've realized this is for like a very specific purpose, but I thought it would be fun whenever I go to concerts, which I don't go to that many concerts, but I do. Like I go to a couple concerts every year and I thought it would be fun to get one of the like stadium approved bags online. They haven't had the sand color belt in a really long time. So when I was in the store, they had these and I thought, you know what, whatever, I'll just buy it and then I will have it for the future, whenever I go to some sort of concert, you know, sporting event, whatever. And I will always have this if I need it. So that is something that I picked up. Love, love, love. And we'll definitely put it to good use. The last thing that I picked up in the store was Never Stop Dreaming sweatshirt that they just had as part of their launch. I wasn't sure when I bought things online at the launch, if I wanted the sweatshirt, I wasn't sure about sizing. So I just figured, you know, I'll look and see in the store if they had it and they did. They actually didn't have them sitting out. They were all, like, I just had to ask them. I was like, do you guys have the sweatshirts or sweatpants, or whatever? And they went in the back and they were like, yeah, we do. What, what size do you want? I think this will be great. I thought about getting the sweatpants. I thought, you know what, maybe that's too much. It'll go well with all of the stuff that I picked up at the launch, which if you haven't seen that video, I will link that <laughs> above as well. I got the classic fanny pack and I got two of the bag charms. So that is it. I hope that this was interesting to you to take a look at all of the things that I picked up in the Stony Clover West Village store. If you have stuck with me through this video, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. It really does help out my channel and I love, love, love to chat with you guys. I will see you in my next video. Take care of yourself. Bye now.